All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a multi-table query. So basically all we're doing here, you know, if we look at some of these tables, like um, let's go ahead and look at VA plot. So we can double click just to look at it. And it has a lot of good information. There's information about the slope and treetops, et cetera. But um, like the counties, the owners, they're all numbers. So they're not very useful to us if we wanna make a table that we're gonna use as an output. And so how do we take, how do we make a query from this table that have it show the actual county names instead of the, uh, just the numbers? And so we also have a Virginia County table. Most of these will have the ones that are serve as lookup tables, have LU after them, but county doesn't. So let's look at that. So. Um, here we can see that you have a name. So we have the county name here and then a number and we can link them so that when we call the county name, it, instead of pulling the number from the plot um, table, it pulls the actual name. So I wanna show you how to do that. Now the county is already linked. So I'm gonna do it with a, a different value. Uh, we'll do the, the owner name. And so let's just, See, so we're going to go to create. We're going to do query design, and I'm going to add the Virginia plot table by double clicking, and then I'm going to add the owner lookup table by double clicking, and then click close. So we have these two tables. Now, importantly, these two are not linked, so I can't query a uh, one of the columns from the owner lookup table and the Virginia plot table because they're those two. They're just two separate. Um, sheets. They're not connected to each other, um, but we can connect them. And so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger just by dragging it, but we have, so the, the value in the owner lookup table is going to correspond to the owner number in our Virginia plot. And so here we see, see the owner. So if we look at the Virginia plot, if we open that, right, owner is just a number. And if we look at the owner lookup table, we have a value, a number, and then we also have a meaning. So we want value to equal owner in the other table. So here's our value, here's our owner. We're gonna take, click value, hold down, drag over to owner and let go. Very importantly, this needs to point to the exact things. If this, if value was pointing to type old, that link wouldn't work. It's not just linking the tables together, it's linking specific values. If you mess up the link, you can click on this so that it's, uh, bolded and then hit delete and it'll go away. And then we can reestablish it by clicking, hold down, go to owner, and now we're linked. So now I'm just going to create a simple query for the uh, for a new table that's going to have our owner and the actual name, and then just the um, it doesn't really matter what else, but I'm going to I'll do type the current type. So field, you can see that there's we now have the different columns in each of the tables that are linked together, right? And so I can do owner meaning. You could also double click meaning up here. Like I'm gonna add type cur, so I could do, I could find it here, or I could just double click it and it'll add it. And so now you'll notice when, I, when, when we execute this table, um, it's not just gonna have the owner numbers, it's actually going to have the, the meaning, like the actual written owner names. So I'm going to go to the design tab, click run, and you can see instead of the numbers, we actually have farmer, state, forest, industry, etc. So once you link your tables together, you can pull in data from other these lookup tables and pair it with the data from the data tables.